everybody, it is Emily and I am here with another episode of The Craft Corner. Today I am excited to bring you three new projects, one of which is a unicorn horn that you can turn into your very own necklace, as well as a Viking drinking horn to take with you for all of your special occasions or any fun conventions that you may be visiting. And last but not least, we will take a look at how to make your very own magic wand inspired by none other than my new obsession, which is Instamorph. Stay tuned. Also, at the end of this video, there is a very special surprise waiting for you. It is only offered for those that are watching this YouTube video, so be sure to follow until the very end. Without further ado, let's dive right into our projects. I fell in love with a unicorn horn necklace and decided to try my hand at it. I rolled a small amount of Instamorph into a long cylinder, making sure the ends tapered into smaller points. Twist the plastic together, starting at the center, and finishing with the two ends. You can see the ends cooled before they were able to melt together. Simply take your heat gun or hot water to reheat the ends. You will see the color change from opaque white to a clear transparent, indicating it is ready to be shaped again. I pinched the ends together to create the point of the unicorn horn. Using Deco Art metallic luster and a paper towel, I brushed a small amount of gold color to the surface of the unicorn horn. Next, I needed a ring for my necklace chain. I didn't have traditional jewelry elements, so I used an eye from my hook and eye sewing kit. I simply heated the very top of the unicorn horn until transparent and pushed the eyelet into the plastic. I wanted to add a gem as well, so I used my heating gun to soften the plastic once more, allowing me to secure a pearl in place as a final embellishment. Tie a ribbon or thread a chain and you have an adorable unicorn horn necklace. I found this toy ball that lights up at the dollar store and I thought the LED lights would be perfect for a wand. Taking my razor blade from the Craftwell Toolkit, I sliced along the seam and tugged the two pieces apart to access the inner light. I love how easy this toolkit makes my life. Cutting through the thick plastic of the light was a breeze. As you know, I am obsessed with Instamorph. Once heated to a certain temperature, it is a moldable plastic you can shape with your hands. You don't need a fancy heat gun and can do this with hot water if preferred. The Instamorph will be hot, so be careful when first shaping the plastic. I began rolling it into a wand, taking time to fold the LED light into one end of the plastic. You can always add more Instamorph to lengthen or add to your project as I did here. Next, I made a very small string of plastic to wrap around the wand as an embellishment. Instamorph sticks to itself, so no glue was required. The magic occurred with the e-brush. It is a fully automatic airbrush that actually uses markers rather than messy paints. I used a bronze sharpie to add color to the wand, and next I took Deco Art Metallic Luster and the color Gold Rush to add dimensional color. A Q-tip was a perfect size to brush the color onto the raised surface of the wand. A little goes a long way, and although subtle, you can see it has a big effect. Lastly, take your glue gun to secure a bit of twine in place, wrapping the base of the handle. A small bit of glue and my trusty craft ball razor finishes it off. Once more, I grabbed my Instamorph, heating it and shaping it into a small Viking horn. At this point, it was fully solid, which would have proved difficult to hollow out. Instead, I flattened out a small amount of plastic, 
electing to use it as the hollow section of the drinking horn. I worked the edges and pulled, careful to keep the material from stretching too thin in the middle while doing so. I then wrapped the plastic around the base of the horn, ensuring it was large enough for both ends to meet. To lock the shape into place quickly, I dropped the plastic into a cold glass of water, immediately cooling the plastic into its solid form. After ensuring it fit as intended, I used my heat gun to target the connecting points of the plastic, softening them so I was able to merge them to the base. I did this to the side seam as well, creating a hollow center to hold liquid. I decided to reinforce the entire piece and remove any seams by wrapping the Viking horn in another piece of plastic. <laughs> I actually used my cut emboss to flatten the plastic into an even height. I had already manually flattened it and then placed it between two pieces of foam and sandwiched with the embossing platform combination. Be sure to only use a small amount of Instamorph as it will expand when flattened in the machine. You want to ensure it will not reach the edges of the platform and spill over as this will damage your machine and void your warranty. Once the horn was wrapped, I heated the edges and worked them into the lower layer of plastic. The next step was to sand down the surface to create a more uniform appearance. I decided to add embellishments by using a cake decorating silicone mold. I pressed Instamorph into the mold and waited for it to turn opaque white, indicating it had hardened. Once it was removed, I used my e-brush and a gold sharpie to airbrush the border. The e-brush is crucial in my craft videos as it sprays and reaches between small details which would be impossible for me to do with a paintbrush or by hand. I decided to add some color to the end of the Viking horn by spraying it with the e-brush as well. I focused most of the spray on the end, allowing the overflow spray to continue towards the middle of the horn and fade for an ombre effect. It was now time to add the border, which was simply done by reheating the plastic and rolling it into place on the rim of the drinking horn. I cut any extra plastic away and finished securing and shaping it into place. Instamorph is non-toxic, but be sure to clean out the inside before using. Well, my crafty friends, that is it for this episode of The Craft Corner. Please give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, or leave a comment if you liked this video. And as promised earlier, we have a very special treat for you offered by Craftwell. It is a limited time, so stay tuned to see all of the details specifically just for these YouTube viewers. Until next time, have a great week, and we will see you on the next episode of The Craft Corner.